This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. Chronicles where ain't no fucking limits. It don't matter what time we go live, cause we can stay live as long as we want to. The fuck? Cause it ain't yeah. no limits. Period. <laughs> so let's get it popping. It's time for the Couch Chronicles. Couch Chronicles. There ain't no fucking limits. 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 Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from eight Central Time. You don't never wanna miss a couch. Trust me, it ain't no fucking limits. I said none. Okay. <laughs> Y'all come on in if you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, Big O, or YouTube. Hit the like button, share the live. Tell your people about the couch. I got Chinese on the motherfucking couch. You ain't never ever gotta wonder. I ain't never ever gonna doubt you. I can do it on my own solo. But I don't wanna be without you. I don't even know how to I told myself a thousand times I'll never come to you again I just told myself a thousand lies Even though you made me feel crazy I still hit you up on a daily It really don't cease to amaze me Cause sex on the beach is amazing I think about you every day and night If it ain't you then it ain't my type Baby you the truth I ain't gonna lie I'm addicted cause I'm so high up you I'm chasing, chasing, I'm chasing you I'm wasted, wasted, wasted off you I've been sipping, sipping when I'm off that you Got me tipsy, I'm hella buzz when I'm off that you Everything spinning, everything blurry when I'm off that you Everything litty, everything pretty when I'm off that you Patron on the hitty, I really ain't picky Long as it's you Raindrops in Manhattan Got me feeling kinda old fashioned Tequila sunrise in the Hamptons Patron me and boss in Spanish I really don't think I can manage I know if I'm with you then I ain't gonna drop If I'm off you then I ain't gonna lie This is how I feel when angels fly Too much of you ain't the answer I hate to say it baby you a cancer But you made me feel so romantic Got me head straight to the dance floor I feel like I'ma be here all night When I'm with you everything alright Cause you made me feel so warm inside I'm addicted Cause I'm so high up you I'm chasing, chasing, I'm chasing you I'm wasted, wasted, wasted off you I've been sipping, sipping when I'm off that you Got me tipsy, I'm hella buzz when I'm off that you Everything spinning, everything blurry when I'm off that you Everything litty, everything pretty when I'm off that you Patron on the hitty, I really ain't picky Long as it's you Y'all come on in. I got Chiny on the motherfucking couch. First of all, tell everybody where you are from. I am actually from Oklahoma City. Okay. I'm from the South Side. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How 
like 20? I have 23. I'm so just close. I'm so good for you. <laughs> just close. You still close. Now, where did you get the name Chiny from? So, oh my gosh. So many people ask me this question. Um, so my dad, he used to always say that I have Chinese eyes. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> so I kind of just like, I don't know, it make it cute. It's mm -hmm. just Chinese eyes, Chiny. Yeah. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah. Like, now you kind of have like an accent. Yeah. My dad is, um, he's from Houston. He's from Houston, Jamaica. Okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold yes, on. You know, um, me and my wife is Trinidadian. Ooh. Trinidad and Tobago. So y'all be turning up for real. Okay. All right. Not read that. They're not read that. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you closer to, your mom or your dad? I'm very much closer to my dad. Yeah. Do you have both your parents? Yes, I do. Okay, they still married? No. Okay. Okay. That's thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you signed with anyone? No, I was. Like, it's been two years since I've been signed. And that situation is a mess. Who was you signed with? I was signed with a record label in LA. They were called Hollywood Records. Um, they they pretty much put me on to a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. They helped me out. Um, they taught me the games. They taught me what I need to do, mm -hmm. how I need to act, how I need to build myself up as an artist. Um, yeah, they taught me a lot of shit. So that's why you was out in um, Cali. Mm -hmm. Did you like it out there? I loved it. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I just didn't know what to do with myself. You right. Leave me. <laughs> right. What was yes. the pace like? Was it fast paced? Was it anything like Oklahoma? No, it's nothing like Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like Oklahoma. It's very much um, fast paced. Um, I got robbed out there. Really? Yes. Okay. Tell me how that happened. Um, I went out there to go shopping. You know they have the outside malls and shit. And so, it, it, do you know that they accept food stamps? You can go buy clothes with food stamps. Hold on. I'm Cali. not lying. I'm so for real. Hey, yo, Cali. <laughs> I'm so what? for real. Okay, so. Okay, so you was buying um clothes with your food stamps. Yes, I went out to go buy some clothes. Um, But not with my food stamps. I just went out to go buy some clothes. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I put words in my shit. I just wanted you to know that. Right. I put words in my mouth. It's a reference. All right. But um, I went out there uh, to go shopping. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, and um, on this particular corner, there was like a couple guys that was out there. And, oh, like, there some guys that robbed you? Yeah, hell yeah. Some niggas oh, that sure. robbed me. Like, <laughs> um, So I how, um, walked over to the store. I'm checking out the shit on the outside. I went back inside. I come back out. These niggas that move closer to the store while they moving past the store, um, they end up robbing me against, like, I end up walking, trying to get to uh, my homegirl's car, and they end up stopping me right before I get, uh, before I got to her car, and I was like, where you going, where you going, where you going? And then niggas always ask that shit, where you going? <laughs> but, um, they told me where I was from and what I had on me, and they was like, you can tell you not some bitch kind of pressed up on me a little bit, like. What you mean, what you have on you? Like, you got some like, money, you got some jewelry? Yeah, that type shit. They don't, they don't give a fuck about... Oh, you know, shit, so they pretty. asking. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They don't give a fuck about you being pretty. They don't give a fuck Shout about that Shout out to Big O. I see y'all sending the hearts. Love back. Shout out to... Oh, Mac June. I see y'all. I see everybody in the comments. <laughs> y'all come on in. in. Come on in, come on in. I love y'all. Mm. Big hearts. I love y'all, for real. Shout out to all my couch potatoes that keep up with the couch. Listen, because you be talking this shit, bro. Thank you. Yeah, I see you saying, and it's not even on that. I seen you talking about something recently, like about men or people that's just been in jail. And like, yeah, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you using your platform for something more than just yourself. Thank you. Yeah, that's inspiring. Thank you. Wow. I appreciate that. Um, How long have you been doing music? Probably since I was like seven. Really? But it started off with me just writing my own music, like kind of just writing my own shit. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started taking it more serious. Mm -hmm. Right before I got signed, um, I had recorded a song called Arch in Arkansas, in Little Rock, Arkansas. <clears throat> and it was nothing compared to what I have now. <laughs> but um, it just ended up like kind of going viral. Mm -hmm. And like that's how I got my record 
it will be. I have to find. You still got the. Is the song on YouTube? Hmm? How come I couldn't find it? You because said it's, it's not March. on this channel. Mm. Yeah, it's not over on the other thing. I just can't remember the page. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm stuck. <laughs> had Damn. to make a new one. Shit Damn. Stuck. So the song it made you go viral. Was it a song that you wrote yourself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, was it, um was it a song that you owned the beat to and everything? Um, no, it was just a free beat on YouTube. But it was kind of something I was just like, I was just trying to see like, can I really do this shit like that? Like, is this shit just in my head? Like, do I really deserve to compete with the big boys? Right. Um, that right. was kind of my first time. Like, now, who inspired you, or what inspired you to want to do music? Um, my grandmother. Hmm. Yeah, she was my she was my motivation. She was everything to me. So, tell us a little bit about her. <laughs> um, well, she's an apostle, a preacher. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She's a woman's preacher. Mm-hmm. Um, I was raised in <laughs> church, and she pretty much. Taught me how to be a noble woman, how to be honest, how to be true. And she could sing her ass off. Like, mm. I'll send up a picture right now with her with a microphone. Right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's just all these lies. But um, <coughs> the first time I heard her sing, it was, uh, I think it was like, Take Me to the Sea. Mm-hmm. And the way she sung it, like, it just touched my soul. And, like, I was, like, six years old. And so. So you started off singing gospel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Started off in church. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have any gospel songs that you wrote? I do. I have numerous gospel songs I wrote. Have you recorded them? No. Can we hear one of them? Oh, gosh. <laughs> she put me on the spot like that. You don't see that. I put everybody on the spot. <laughs> um, okay, let me see what I can pull out my head. Let me see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Y'all, if you're just now tuning in, it is the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking limit. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. So we did start a little late. We started at 9, but it's all good. We're going to be going live until I finish with all these questions, because I got questions right here, and I got questions right here. I heard that. Okay? So we're going to keep going until we finish. Um, If you got time, if you're not busy, if you got time, stay here. Don't go nowhere. This is the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking Limits. Limits. Okay. Limits. Okay, but she going to be so mad. It's okay. It's okay. I can wait. Because I don't got no gospel songs. On so then this song. is what we can do. Since she, don't got no, <laughs> since she don't have her gospel song, that's fine. Guess what? I got R&B beats, and she can okay. do the mic on the couch. Oh, God. You know how to freestyle? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, or I'll give you 30 minutes. I'm not a rapper. Right. No, 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 I'm talking about me. Sing. That too, because that gives me a little bit of Oh, yeah, no, I got creative. R&B beats. I got R&B beats. Don't, don't, no. Don't I'm do playing me. with her. Don't do she me. I got not it all. Do. <laughs> Shout out to Mav, M-A-V.G-D. He makes all the beats for the couch. I'm talking about I got every style that you can think of. Country, rock, hip-hop, hop-hop, the hop, 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 hop. Yeah. The I got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, THA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. Also follow my guest, Chiny, on all social media. Her information will be in the description. Just make sure that you read it. Okay. Big facts. Don't be sleeping on me. Period. We, we not going to order, but don't be sleeping on me. Yeah. Okay. And don't be sleeping on, don't be sleeping on my girl either. Because what? Okay. She just, she just. Want a whole, a whole what? <laughs> Come on now. Okay, don't play with us. Okay. Now, would you say that you're one of Oklahoma's top artists? I say I'm on my way there. Okay. Yeah. Who's the top? Huh. Who do they say is the top? Um, what they be saying in the streets? Who they be saying is the top in the streets? Oh. I hear a lot of people say the hustle. Um, I hear, um, what's her name, Candy Reyes, am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that, I think I'm saying her name right, Candy Reyes, um, what, Lauren Williams, bro, if she, bro, if she ever see this video, I love you, girl, <laughs> no, that's right. I love your ass, bro, and Lauren, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Lauren writes all her own music, yeah, she's hard as fuck, yeah, 
Yeah, she's yeah, she's hard as fuck. And she's a Leo. I'm a Leo. Hey, that's Leo my moon game. sign. That's my moon sign. <laughs> What's your moon sign? Um, I'm a Pisces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm a I'm a Leo moon and I'm a Taurus. Mm-hmm. Period. You know, Taurus runs the motherfucking world. Period. Mm-hmm. And the afterworld. They be and the underworld. Business for real. You see? Okay. Y'all probably they are wait the underworld. <laughs> we are not the Illuminati. They not, they not ready for that conversation right. yet. They not on that spiritual level yet. <laughs> now, right. what makes you think that you sing different than anyone else that's already singing? What gives you a... <laughs> uh, mm. um, that's a good question. I feel like, if we just going to talk about just the singing, I feel like when I'm singing... Mm, how I'm music presenting. period. The way you do music period. Oh, the way that I chore like chore is it chore God? Is that the right word? You dancing? Like that too, but like the way that I construct. You feel me? Cause I don't. see you, girl. I watched I, you. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I said, hold on. She's I, hanging out with Queen. Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, so. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me snap back. I'm sorry. Uh, what was the question? What makes your music different than, let's just say it like that. Yeah, my music is different because I put real passion. I put real love, real time, real energy into this shit. So, pause. Everybody else that's watching. I'm a bitch. Are they putting in fake time and fake energy? I'm going to say, <laughs> I need a lighter. Shoot, 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 getting that shit how they say they getting that shit mm-hmm. 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 does it make you hard to kind of listen to um certain people's music when you hear them on stage like yeah i got a nine in my pocket and i'll shoot it you know and they ain't never even had a nine inch dildo before in their life so mm-hmm. how do you have i mean a nine <laughs> in your pocket and you're gonna shoot it you haven't even shot a nut out like the fuck i feel like Cause some people, I feel like they like to. That's just what they like, and mm-hmm. I don't blame them for that. Like if that's what they like to rap about, that's what they like to rap about. But don't deceive your audience mm-hmm. into thinking that that's what your character is. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, don't hide behind this gangster ass mask. And you feel me? Like, not like that. Like, mm-hmm. show the people that you you know. You can show them that side too. You feel me? But. Also, show them that you feel me. Like, you got this shit going on. Mm-hmm. Like, you like this? Right. Mm. All right. All right. I Is feel it, like all the mm-hmm. rappers always want to be talking about gang banging and hollering at the fucking mic. Like, what happened to the real music? What happened to the real right. R&B? The real, like, nigga, take me back to when Tupac was alive. You feel me? Like, yeah. when he was spitting that real shit. Yeah, like. So, do you feel like there's any artists as far as um, Oklahoma artists, mainstream artists? Excuse me. That is making real music. I do. I do. I feel like real music is still alive, but I feel like it's so covered up by a bunch of bullshit. Facts. There's shit out there. That is true. Um, that is true. And people are so blinded by what they feel like is su- what they feel like as an artist you're supposed to look like, what you're supposed to act like, what you're supposed to do, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that they don't really. I don't know, they don't see the bigger picture. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Now, how how do you stand out out of all the artists that's here in Oklahoma right now? Out of all the artists that's up and coming in each state, how are you standing out? How What makes you, like, we heard what your music does, but what about you, like, I won't stop. As a, okay. I'm not going to stop. I got to see where this shit going to take me. They going to see that consistency. Like, they I said, feel- ooh, your friend is so pretty. That's Slippery Pickle. Hey, Slippery Pickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Ooh. laughs> but 
But um, I posted this shit a while ago, and I don't know if people really be paying attention, but I'm really spiritual. And like, I really okay. be having like pop, like prophetic dreams and mm. shit. Like, okay. When yes, I talk about my hear. grandmother, like, I was raised in this church. Like, it's just not a joke to me. Like, I had a dream when I was six years old. And in this dream, I was literally in a red sparkly dress, I don't know, walking down the street. And on the side of the street, there's a whole bunch of people taking pictures of me. Like, and it was like an arc. Every time I turn around, like, it paints this, like, these bright ass arcs in my mm. face. Because you're was, famous. Yeah, but I was a kid, though. Like, it's, mm. I don't know. But in front of me, there was a guy. He had on, like, a black shirt, some black pants, and I think it was his shoes. I used to remember it. Um, he was backing up. The detail. Yeah, he was because I remember this shit. Like I remember it. He was backing up and he was recording me off this camera and it had a little hood thing and the camera was right there and he was backing up on me. Wow. And I woke up and I just remember from that day on, like that shit been in my spirit. Mm-hmm. It's like people just can go and see me, they see how far you can make it. Mm-hmm. People don't like people doubt me. People some people don't like me. Some people <clears throat> don't know how to take me <laughs> some people think i do too much some people mm. what's doing too much my uh, choreography some people <coughs> feel like i don't <coughs> sing with the mic up to my like face when Who i'm does? dancing like, i mean i do <laughs> but i will say breathe this. okay <laughs> no, i'm gonna say this <laughs> i can't breathe i'm gonna say this because you do have to learn yeah. as an artist to be able to if you want to be able to dance you got to be able to dance and do your music and sing your music at the same time. Yeah. But I will say this. There's a lot of artists, and I've been to different states and I've seen this. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck what state I'm in. There's a lot of artists that get up there and they don't know their words. They get up there and they'll they'll literally fumble the fucking bag. Or a lip sync. Yes, I've seen, that. I've seen that too. Can we talk about it? Yeah, no, for real. Like, I've seen it. And then I'm like, you you moving your mouth loud. I see it. Like, <laughs> Loudly. <laughs> they like, I'm like, and literally nothing is coming I out. I don't hear Do shit. Do you feel like we can hear you whispering? Who is you talking Because about? that's what you're doing. Me or you? Because, I, look, just recently I was at this event. And, baby, the sound system wasn't amazing. Meaning that... Loud, quiet, that you was doing, I want you to know that we knew that you was listening. <laughs> we, we knew it. Matter of fact, I think you asked me what I thought about your performance afterwards, and I told you the truth. So listen, right. we got to stop it. We 2024, I'm, I'm wishing that every artist knows all of their lyrics whenever they perform the whole 2024. Don't get up. If you... If you plan on rolling up when you get on stage and your song comes on, just just don't even just just be like you know what just get me, I gotta roll up. Because I've seen artists literally roll up on stage and they song going and they like. I swear I swear I've recorded it. It's sick. So this year, that's coming up. Let's not do that. Know all your words. Be a confident artist. Mm-hmm. For real. This is the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no but fucking limits. Speaking about confident artists, mm-hmm. that should take that should take pressure to get there. Mm-hmm. That shit is not gonna be easy. Cause mm-hmm. when I say I still do the jitters when I get on the stage, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> I still I mean you should like I'd be nervous. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. It don't mm-hmm. look like it, but right. somewhere in that performance. Right. I'm like, bitch, snap the fuck out of it. Like, you gotta do this shit. Like, people you watching. You know what? I, I don't never feel like that. I'll just be ready. Like, you know. I, know. I, was I love ready. being on stage. Like, I love. You said Wayne don't remember his songs just because of all the drugs. Um, <laughs> I love. I love being on stage and I love the energy that I get from the crowd. You know, it, it feeds me. Even whenever I don't have a billion people, like, crowding me, because I don't like that anyway. Excuse me. I'm trying to get through. Wait, back up. Yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I've had a performance one time, and, and this girl, she was so close to me, I was like, and another guy, and I was like, hey, I want y'all to know that y'all are so familiar. 
when yeah. I was single. Like, you wait Yeah. Like, you yeah, I'm married. Excuse me. Yeah. Anyways. Y'all follow my guest Chaney on all social media. It's the Couch Chronicles and there ain't no fucking limits. None at all. I'm gonna get into a song and then we're gonna continue with this interview. That secret sauce. I know that it's in me, I'm really a cook, but I can't be friendly. Monday once and it with me. They see the money and in the Play this song, keep it on repeat, yeah, keep it on repeat. When it up, I got it, it is on and off, so I gotta see me. She just dropped a new video. Okay. T -t -t. Go run it up. Run it up. Run, run it, it up. up. Bags. Bags. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I oh, actually, really? look, yeah, I had a lot of fun filming that video with her. Like, it was a vibe that night. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's dope. It was pretty dope. Um, where does most of your support come from? Um. I'm really having a hard time answering this question right now. Ooh. Nah. I'm trying to think of a... Um, my support was coming from um, the team that was supporting me. Okay, know. the team. Yeah, that was coming from the team. Okay, and the team is now... But you do need to add more to your team. I have I have options, of course. I have okay, options. options. Like I was signed, <laughs> but I was signed. I have options.
options. Like, it's just how like, was it for you being signed? Was it everything you ever imagined, or was it like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was kind of both. <laughs> <laughs> it was both. There was a lot of shit that I thought was going to be, oh, yeah. And it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be this way. But so what the, what part was the, oh, yeah. Um, being able to just go to the beach whenever I wanted to, being able the to beach. chill. Yeah, it's always been that kind of cool. The topic is Chiny. Chiny is the artist. Her information is up there. It says, late on the couch with Ch- Chiny. Up, <laughs> up on the top. You got Instagram. the Sapphira, I've got the Blood Royal. You just yes. Oh, oh, excuse me. Shout out to Flower Rangers. Um, I just did a mini interview with them today live on the scene. And if you guys haven't been tuning into my news review, listen, hmm. I'm going to be a new news anchor of OKC and um, of the United States of America. I saw that shit. Yeah. You was out there on the scene. She said, <laughs> we got the ambulance out here and everything. <laughs> I'm getting the traffic for y'all. Um, mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna do yeah. a weather report for y'all too. So just, just, just bear with me. I'm look. So what happened if you see a soul and then it just drizzle a little bit? Shit, and then I'm gonna be like, hey, you know how Oklahoma it just sprinkles. when they get on the news and they be like, yeah, it's gonna snow tomorrow, and it don't snow. <laughs> Oklahoma shit. <share. Come> <laughs> they do be saying shit for no reason. <laughs> Listen, when I say this, it's some gas, y'all. Get y'all better go check out. Look, go go look at the interview on my page. I'm telling y'all. That's they got sativa? deals on deals on deals on deals on deals. Oh. Yes. Sativa. I can tell. Upper. I can okay. tell. I smoke something, but upper. I know it. Don't take Tangent. it. <laughs> okay. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't, Don't play with it. it. Shout out to Desiree. <laughs> Desi. Desi Cold. How you do? Okay. <laughs> Shout out to all my couch potatoes that stay tuned into the couch. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Big O, I definitely appreciate y'all on the cool. Y'all send hearts and shit. Love, love, love that. <laughs> Let's get on with this interview because I got some more questions. All right, now. Nice. <laughs> Would you compare yourself to any mainstream artist? Do you want to say one of them or what? Yeah, you can tell me why. Why? <laughs> why? Because um, I feel like some mainstream artists are like industry porn stars. Mm. And I feel like some people, they only make it so far because of how they look. Not what they bring into the table. Not really what they have. On your Instagram, you said pretty girls always win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's why. Yeah, but it's not what I think. I'm one of those pretty girls that got more than just pretty. Like, I'm the first to make this dumb pretty girl come and take the shit that I feel like women that's working really hard should have. Mm-hmm. Like this. Right. I'm just saying. But I'm not, you know, clout, not, I'm not speaking down on them. You know, right. Like, no, I get but it. I'm just saying. I like, do want to ask you, though, um, and I don't mean to interrupt. I want you. I, to get, you. I, want you to, <laughs> I want you to get into detail on the industry plan. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what made you say that? Like, so you already know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You're such a mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. Um, I think that there is a certain agenda that's being pushed upon the people. Regardless if they want to see it or not, mm-hmm. period. Mm-hmm. And I'm afraid to go so deep because I'm spiritual like that. I just pray. I just I just I just want to pray and I feel mm-hmm. like, but I am. I'm very spiritual and I, I'm not afraid to admit that. Like, um, I just see some shit right now. I just feel like there is an agenda being pushed upon the kids, mm-hmm. the younger generation that's just below us. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, why is there so much trucking? Like what the fuck is that? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just, I just. But how does that make you feel? You feel bothered about it? I do. Okay. I do. Do you have kids? What happened? What? Yeah. 
Yeah, what? Um, you got kids? Oh, okay, okay. I have a daughter. Okay, so let's get into detail. Because that pause was a pause. Yeah, that was like a lifetime movie pause. <laughs> like, I heard the music. <laughs> I did. I did. I was like, okay, so talk to me. Um, uh, a lot of people... <laughs> She'll be five in December. Mm -hmm. um, she very much takes me care of. She's mm -hmm. such a beautiful little girl. Mm -hmm. I love her. Her name is Ilana. Oh, that's I beautiful keep, name. Yeah, it is. Um, I keep her out of the public because um, I don't want her to be seen as any type of anxiety or how bad she sleeps. I've already, I, I mean, I've already experienced people try to target my daughter because of, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I was in the radio, like, I've been on the radio out there, like, and they may not be transparent or, you know, like, they don't, may not know that here in Oklahoma, but, mm -hmm. like, what I've experienced everywhere else is just, like, yeah, I just, I just keep her on the low. Um, and I've also experienced some other things, you know, it's, like, mm -hmm. I'm just being busy, like, yeah. you know, um, I'm gonna just say, like, being here alone is not easy when mm -hmm. you need all the support you can get. Mm -hmm. And most times, guys will convince you that this is what it is that they really want and that, well, I mean, you would do certain X, Y, and Z and like, you still do it. And that's just the situation that I was in. Yeah, so. I mean, he left me kind of. What do you feel? I mean, it's a part of life. I don't, I don't speak about it because I don't, I feel like people are so judgmental and they'll just speculate and then assume that shit. And I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't need people all up in my life like that because shit goes so deep. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need that. <laughs> like, yeah, for real. When it comes to kids, it's like. I don't need that yeah. for real, like, because. I mean, and I don't mind talking about it, like, because I'll speak up on it, like, mm -hmm. but that's my baby. Mm -hmm. I love her, and I just rather protect her, because I know how the world is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she's very beautiful. And you are very strong. You want to see a picture of her? Yes, yes, you are very strong. Now, what's more important to you um, when it comes to your music? Mixing and mastering or getting the video done? Um, <laughs> I feel like I do come up with a video mm -hmm. idea within seconds, but like my man said, however long, you know, so mm -hmm. it don't take me shit to get creative, mm -hmm. but I want my shit to come out. So I'm really, I'm critical on myself when mm -hmm. I go into the studio and I record because I already know that my voice sounds different to people. It's because it sounds different to me, mm -hmm. but I'm not supposed to sound like no other artist. I'm not mm -hmm. supposed to sound like Beyonce. I'm not supposed right. to sound like Rihanna. Exactly. I'm not supposed to sound like these people because they're them, and I'm trying to be mm -hmm. that. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I make fire-ass music. Mm -hmm. My lyrics ain't just bullshit, and I listen to my music. You talking about some real shit, my girl. Right. So. Now, yeah. was this last song, Mix and Master? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Queen Caution and her, um, her friend. She mixed and mastered this one? Yeah, they okay. mixed and mastered this one. Okay, okay, yes, that's what's up. Shout out to Queen Caution. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure that you go follow her as well. Look, she's singing. This is my daughter. This is my daughter. Oh, shit, look at her. She is so beautiful. Mm. 
今のでどこ行ってんの。ま<笑>あ<笑><笑>ビニールしてくれれば。<笑> yeah. Um no. Cause I said chunks. Mhm. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> 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 um, Dead trend. I said chunks. Dramatic pause. And what else? Um, I guess my um, my music question. <laughs> I don't get distracted in the other <laughs> shit. You feel me late? I said, do so, you get intimidated by other artists? Um, I'm, a, I'm not an artist. Okay. I said chunks. <laughs> and, and you said you do all your own writing? I do all my okay. own writing. Okay. Do you let other people artist, uh, write for you, though? No. Not yeah. at all? They're not going to let me, like, be. Right. Right, right. Okay, okay, okay. I can take suggestions. I can take ideas. Like, I don't mind taking ideas from people. Mm-hmm. And I can, of course, incorporate that in my own style, my own way, like I choose to, but I don't need anybody to be my artist. And this this EP, what is it called? EP Literature? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, back in high school and middle school, I had to listen to Uncle Sam sing some shit like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't need nobody. You were like, I got this. I got it. <laughs> That's what's it never up. stops. It never stops ever. All right. Now, when you listen to beats, what type of instruments do you like to hear in your beats? Um, um, I feel like they need to have a little twist in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A twist of what? I personally like flute. I like a good guitar yeah. and a good deep piano. With a little bit of high in it. <laughs> I kind of like <laughs> drill, like melodic drill. Mm -hmm. Like you know, mm, melodic. Yeah, mm -hmm. melodic drill. Like okay, most of my beats are like that. Oh, so like you trying to ice spice it? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, who's drill? Who's drill? Would you compare it to? Would you compare it to Ice Spice? Lola Brooke. Um. Lola Brooke? I can see her, but I gotta see her other options first. Mm. I can't think of any off the uh, list. Well, so. if it was out of those two, yeah, it would definitely be Lola Brooke. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because she's cold with that shit. Like, I like a lot of smooth rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah, I call it sapping. Sapping. I like sapping. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yes, sap. Because I'm a sapper too. Now, when it comes to your career, what do you feel like that you spend the most money on? Um, probably recording mm. my music videos. And that. Mm. So said, far, it's I been love music the piano videos. and flute as well. Those are some yes, very beautiful instruments. Very beautiful yes. instruments. Ooh, and then throw a little bit of saxophone in that bitch. Secret, mm. my mom knows how to play a fucking uh flute thing. Oh, listen, y'all don't judge me, but yeah. she know how to play the flute, and like, um, I remember the first time I saw her playing the flute, like, mm -hmm. it amazed you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I see my mom play the harmonica for the first time, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what? And she was playing it so good, I was like, Beethoven? Who are you? Like, where did you come from, bro? <laughs> now, um, what is your story? Like, who are you? Who, like, you told us who Shiny was as an artist, but who are you, like, as a person? Um, I'm Brittany. Yeah. I'm Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me when I say my name, like, but I, I don't know. I hate my own Well, tell us name. about Brittany. Um, how was she growing up? What was her life like? What was her childhood like? What was growing up like? Like, you want to tell us? Like, what, like, a lot of people, they say tough, yeah, like the typical, but what's the typical tough? Like, what is, what is tough? Like, because to some people, tough could have been that every time they went to go eat their bread, they always had food, 
but it was moldy. Right. But then there were some people that didn't have food at all. Mm. My challenges has been like there is still a lot that I'm processing mm-hmm. um, because. She tried to get an abortion with me and I ended up surviving the bitch. No, I'm saying. Question. Do you know why she tried to have an abortion? Because she's in it. What's in it? She ain't ready for no baby. She ain't not ready for no shit. Ain't no 14 or 15 year old ready for no kids, especially by no grown ass man. Mm-hmm. Not even really taking it serious. <laughs> Do you feel like your mom maybe felt like she was taken advantage of by your dad? And that's maybe why she wanted to? I feel like my mom put herself in situations. Do I believe that she, that, like, was that way towards her? No. I do feel like my mom. What's going on, though? I mean, like, I don't know. She was just sad mm-hmm. at a young age. Um, and that was due to so many that was going on at home. That, unfortunately, we're, the family is just now finding out about. It's really, um, <sighs> really hard for us right now as a family to, like, kind of get over some of the things that we've been through. Um, some of the things that we've heard about. As a matter of fact, before I even came here, it's so ironic. I just got off the phone with my brother. Mm. I could call him right now. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm not going to do that. But um, my brother is such an inspiration to me. He's 14. (coughs) He wants to be a gospel singer. He watches me and be like, I love you, Nisha. Mm. Um, But he tells me that uh, he forgives everybody and he loves everybody. I feel like that in a sense now um, doesn't inspire me to like try and give up on some of the things that I've been doing my whole life. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, because it goes too far. <laughs> what are you doing? What steps are you taking to help you get past or even cope with the things that you went through? My music. Mm-hmm. Um, are you in counseling? Do you? I went to counseling, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's really like, I hate when I hate to be so vulnerable with that. <laughs> because did you feel uncomfortable because you felt like they didn't really know no, the struggle? They didn't. They didn't get it. They didn't right. know. They I didn't always know. say that this is a therapy that you never knew you needed. You know, because yeah. we talk about everything, and I like to get deep. I don't like to just talk about yeah. the music. I want to get to know you yeah. as a person. And I'm okay with getting open because there's a lot of people that need to heal from. Mm-hmm. Childhood trauma, and they don't they don't yeah. even realize how that shit was. Monday is mental health talk on the couch. Fucking with their health, like fucking mm-hmm. with their everyday mood movement. Mm-hmm. You don't think your daddy didn't listen to you, or your right. you being abused is like why you can't like you don't you don't get it, right? You don't see it, right? Mm-hmm. It took me. I can't lie. It took me a minute. Like mm-hmm. it took me a minute, but. It was good at first with my mom. Like, we had a really good relationship, but um, she just changed over y'all. I don't think she was ready for me. I don't think I was ready for it. So, what age do you feel like it changed your coming about? Mom. Mm. <laughs> she got married. Oh, my God. I was an angel. Uh, my stepdad. 
Is she still with him? Yeah. Yeah. And you were grabbed by the hand at the other end of the bed? I tried. The problem is that I'm not going to sleep this long. Honestly. Yeah. I'm not going to sleep this long. If you're doing some shit to me, I'm going to tell you you're doing some shit mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you in a way because I love you. like, And I give a fuck about what you're doing to me. Like, right. And I'm letting you know that this is fucking with me. Mm-hmm. And you don't acknowledge it. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't know where the fuck this shit from mm-hmm. goes. I just pulled the shit out my ass. There's nothing that I can't do. Mm-hmm. And, like, I've tried for so long. For so long. And, like, I cried about it. I prayed about it. <sighs> and, like, I didn't listen. And I even tried it. Mm-hmm. And then you took it far as you have just now. What if you didn't have anything? What if somebody was touching your throat today and you lost your vocal cords? I don't think I would just, allow that. Just the whole thing just severed. Like, no, I don't think I would allow that. Mm-mm. Hypothetically speaking, like what if it happened and you didn't have music anymore? You know what I mean? I wouldn't be standing up for me. Like, I don't know what I would do. Buy me, I guess. Hold the music together. <laughs> is not just something that I just do to be cute or to be famous or none of that shit. Like, this shit bought me out of the depths of, like, I don't even know. Like, it just bought me up. And, um, I I prayed a lot about this shit. Like, I prayed a lot about this music shit because sometimes I see it back and forth. Like, sometimes I just go through shit. Sometimes I don't even give a fuck. Sometimes I say too much. <laughs> like, sometimes, like, I know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, but it's just, I just know that without music, I wouldn't be myself. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be who I am. Mm-hmm. Because, like, it's in my bloodline. My family has done music. Like, my family's been in music. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, being asked to do music. Like, we've just been doing this shit for, like, so long. That was actually my next question. Who in your family does music? My grandmother is a singer. Mm-hmm. A gospel singer. Most mm-hmm. everybody is a gospel singer. What about singer. your mom and dad? Did any of them sing? Or? My dad, no. He don't sing anymore. He's dead. Mm-hmm. He's dead. He's dead. I don't think he should sing. But my mom wouldn't sing with him. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Back in the 90s, guys. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you say that you're special? Yes. <coughs> Very much so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, what do you say mostly of music is about? If you had to just put it all in a box, even stuff that's not released. Um, about being yourself and loving it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, you don't know what somebody else is going through. Mm-hmm. And being able to pass pass it. Uh, and do your shit. Y'all, if you're just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking limit. None at all. All right? Bro. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Today, we started at 9. Don't worry. Don't even worry, because we still got some more questions. So, if you just bear with me, I got another song I'm going to play, okay. and we're going to get these questions going. And go so, get them crazy. Yes. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, so get on THA, Couch, <laughs> <laughs> THA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles, Dot No Limits on Instagram, and my main YouTube Instagram, and my dot com, which is T-H-A, Lil J-A-N-E-L-L. It says, definitely have to inspire more trill bitches to shade their three Bs, uh, bold, black, and beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This is new word for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Just it. this. <laughs> Let's get into it.
Look, right here. Your face was just caught right there on camera. <laughs> like, she was like, you know, <laughs> with these shrooms, some instances, when I look at you, you look like Brandy. Don't start. Do you? Oh, my God. I'm serious. I, I just can't. And then the shrooms, you know, have some, I think it's making, you see how my eyes look in China? <laughs> <laughs> In some instances, oh. when I look over, <laughs> I'm my eye. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, you missed the shrooms part in the glass. When she <laughs> pondered. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you feel about the shrooms. Oklahoma music scene? Um, that's such a question. It's too much bullshit. Mm. It's just too much bullshit. Is it because people are pissed up? Is it because people don't accept? Is because it because it's not a lot of support? People are selfish. Um, people hate each other. It's stupid shit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just so competitive. Like, I don't know, but we're in a competitive industry. I just feel like it's, mm-hmm. it's at work. I don't know. I just feel like it's nothing compared to like the love I got from someone else. And I would love to have that same love for my city. And I, yeah. every time I get up on the stage, I mean, I show love. Right. I show, I'm from Oklahoma City. Bitch, y'all been sleeping on us. Don't play with it. Like, we out here got talent. We out here showing y'all, like, what we have to offer. But we don't even support each other. Like, we don't, I'm just, it's just over it. Mm-hmm. Overrated. <laughs> like, to be honest. What's the best thing that's happened to you this year so far? Really? Mm-hmm. You see how I started? I was <laughs> she wasn't like, expecting that. What, what answer I was, was you not, expecting? I was expecting you to say you hit the lottery Why? or or something like that. It, it wasn't. What? It wasn't. You're the lottery. about the third or fourth person that then told me that something about the lottery, something with me and the lottery in the same sentence. See? And I just feel like by this point, I'm finna go sleep because he might. Yes. Yeah, see, and when you win. Then I'm, they go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> when you win, go ahead and shout the couch out. You feel me? She told me I was going to be here. <laughs> and um, go to the uh, um, Buffalo. The Buffalo uh, machine. That? It's a machine. Oh. Yeah. And, <laughs> but, but when you go to the machine, look at the, it's going to give you three options. It's going to give you three diamonds. Look at the top diamond. And you see which one has the highest. And then you bid big. Oh. Big bid. See, <laughs> now I'm talking about I always win. Yeah, see. I need somebody to go with me that always wins. Listen. Because I am so afraid to gamble my I money. definitely, I definitely miss uh, the Detroit uh, casinos. Because when I say... Baby, Detroit. I was in that bitch like ka-ching. I'm talking about what you was doing when I Detroit. say, girl, that's where I came from. Detroit. Okay, period. That's where I'm from. That's the one that make all the beats. I heard y'all listen. But listen, when I say every time at the casino, when I say I hit so big, they made me file my taxes right then and there. You hear me? Mm-hmm. File this bitch. Oh, really? Yeah. You got to file. You got to. They make you write this thing out for your taxes mm-hmm. right then and there. Guarantee. You hit big enough, they gonna, you going to get that paper. You going to know. Wicked. You going to know. Mm-hmm. He talking about, I'll go with you. Yo, listen, I'm trying to go away. <laughs> I'm trying to go away and like, I just mail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, do you, no, let me ask you this. Okay. No, let me ask you this first. Do okay. you have friends? Do you have a lot of friends? No. Do you have a few friends? Okay, now, were those, were those friends that you had, were they yes niggas? And what I mean no. by that mm-hmm. is did they ever tell you, like, if you was off key or if something didn't sound good? Oh, yeah. Or, okay. Oh, yeah. I could give credit for that, yeah. We was in middle school for a long time. Yeah, but that's right. But still, 
Um, yeah, that you was don't so like good. Dry lips on the couch now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause I ain't got time. Glossing, you better gloss them bitches up like okay. they some pussy lips. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking limits. None of that. Now, what do you do for a living, like a regular nine to five? Are you? Did you used to be a stripper? Or was it just? I mean, I don't know. Just I'll, you know, I was stalking your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She always looked at me like the Christmas like, tree, dude. <laughs> oh, no, it ain't coming yes, down. It's I upside did. down. It's upside down. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it really, y'all, it, this shit is really upside down for real. <laughs> it's small at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the, I've never seen this before. Like, <laughs> I have never seen it. Was it was me. Yeah, so what you do for a nine to regular um, nine to five? So right now I work at a hotel. Okay, that's nice. Yes, it's a company that works out there. Yeah. I don't know if that shit tips too well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do. They tip too. When you have to. Them old rich white people mm-hmm. they like, they like so white white w- did you they used to dance yeah okay how was that um, it was okay uh, it was a little fun though mm-hmm. <laughs> is that where you get your dancing skills from when you get on stage mm-hmm. no I had dancing skills cause that one move that you did I was like all she needed what is a pole what the all she, they say how single are you <laughs> Nobody well, sleeping. Well, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, okay. I feel like I should get some mic pressure, but we gonna skip past that. Are we, are we just go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Don't do that. I can add, that's them. You, but you read it up loud. Oh like wow! That. Wow. Um, now you made a post on IG addressing someone. Um, what was that about? Hmm. Just today. <laughs> you. I told you I was talking your face. Oh, fuck. Okay, um, I just want to know, like, I don't know, I don't know. That's how you How do you, how, what, what? I think the post and the story. Mm. She was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um. Disrespectful. I do. I do. It was it a friend? Was it a lover? Was it a lover oh, and a, friend? No, a friend. Okay. So, um, as far as is this, why you say you don't have any friends anymore? Yeah, because that's exactly why yeah. I said I don't have any friends because like I put so much energy into supporting people into you know trying to prove to somebody that I'm I'm really here for you. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not doing this shit just because like I what don't you waste said was my time. I don't, I don't waste, I don't my, waste time my time, my money. People, bro. Like, you okay, feel me? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I've done nothing wrong, like, you can't hold me accountable for shit. Right. You can't mark me not one time. So, That's what it. can a friend do to lose you? Mm-hmm. I, I feel like the simplest way for me to answer that question is for me to say, like, I can. Uh, I can appreciate a snake for letting me know that this that I'm a snake, mm. and eventually I might bite you. Mm. But what I what really bothers me is when 
as much as possible you're not putting as much mm-hmm. on your sleeve as happening and you're just like oh I don't like that shit bro cause I don't do that shit to nobody mm-hmm. I keep it real I'm really respectful to people people vibe with me I vibe with people like I don't feel like that's game and nobody no reason I'm like I'm not gonna speak on that I'm gonna let that go <sighs> but um yeah like I just you know I feel like people get caught up in it. <laughs> they get big headed and like they start thinking about other shit. I'm really trying to watch myself because I don't want to say too much. Mm-hmm. Um, because I really feel offended, mm-hmm. and I hope you know that I feel offended. Mm-hmm. So, wow. Well, um, it seemed like you was offended. Um. And that's why I was like, I was curious, like, wow, what? Because what I don't usually act like that. You? I don't usually, like, okay, so she you took go your to, man. I don't give a fuck about that shit. No, no, that that shit is irrelevant. There's plenty of men out here. Like, I may not be the baddest bitch that a nigga could dream of, but what I can say is I'm a bad bitch and I got my own shit going on. You go to the shoe store, and you got about between five hundred bands. They told you that they got the best shit you could ever smoke. The big ass and this shit all the way up. Mm-hmm. You go over here and you buy this shit. You spending this money on this shit that you're expecting to be way. You're expecting this shit to hit, and when you get this shit, the shit don't even hit you the way that you was expecting it to. Mm-hmm. And then when they be smoking that shit, like you like in your head, you like, okay, I'm good. I'm not gonna downplay it. Like it's cool. I'm not gonna say it's nothing. Like you think I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, like and this person or the people you just went and bought this shit from, they're like, oh yeah, like yeah, my shit's the best. Like I got this, I got that, I got that. Like, I, like yeah. Is you just never fuck with nobody? Like I understand that. Like that shit bothers me. Mm-hmm. Don't do me like that. And then it's some trash. And then I can't get my money back guaranteed. Can't the fuck? And I can't. Yeah, and I can't. And I wasn't giving it to you. To I'm gonna like, tell you something. Get it shit. back either. Like mm-hmm. I was giving it to you because I was supporting you. I was going hard for you. Yeah. I was showing you that I'm supporting you, not only just with my motherfucking mouth, but with my actions because. Motherfucker, when people see you, motherfuckers see me, bro. When they see me, they think of that person. And, like, for you to switch up behind closed doors, I'm not fucking with that shit. And I don't care. Because I've been a real ass bitch from day one. Can't nobody point no fingers at me and say I did anything. But I know a lot that I can speak on. All right. All right. Y'all, if you're just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles. And it ain't no fucking limits. It ain't never been a limit. Okay. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T-H-A Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Vico. Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A real J-A-N-E-L-L. Follow my guest, Chiny, on all social media. Her information is in the description. Hey, hey. It says no cigarette limits. No cigarette limits. What, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah. I Cancer. Would, no, I, I wouldn't <laughs> let him smoke a cigarette when he came to the couch. I was like, oh. he said, well, that's a limit. I said, well, you yeah. know. Uh, well, yeah, that's I ain't dope. doing all of that. Now, do you still have, like, a little chiny gang? Like, a little gang gang? Is it a gang gang? I have, my gang is spread across different states. Like, my mm-hmm. my gang is not just from Oklahoma. My gang is from Arkansas, Little Rock. Shout out the motherfucking rock. I okay. love you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers turn me up every time. Every fucking time. Okay. Shout out the rock. And L.A. Yeah, L.A. Like too. But um, my people are spread out differently. Like, I've been places, so. Um, I still feel like I have a nice support. I don't call them my fans because I'm not cocky and I'm not. So that's cocky to call them fans. I don't feel like it's cocky, but I feel like it depends on how you using the word and how you saying that shit. Like I said that one time, I was like, "Shout out to all my fans, friends, and da 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 da." This guy was like, "We ain't your motherfucking fans." I was like, "Then what do I say?" I guess that's why I'm so caught. Like, what I'm do nervous. I say? That's why I'm just so nervous about. But how then I, I do get it. people to tell me that they my fans, and I'm right. just like, "But do I say that?" Is that's it, why is I'm it like saying? Is it like saying nigger? Or? 
I mean, no, for real. Like, <laughs> like, it's a life sentence. <laughs> because, like, <laughs> that's how they was at. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. They was in the comments. I was like, oh, I'm going to just take the but video. But you got to realize, <laughs> you, get, you are very black. I've been, I be telling people this all the time. Like, sometimes in my eyes, it don't seem how big you are, like, from the outside in. Like, I'm sorry, people may be very out there. I like you, but hold on now. You be, but whatever. Like, you know, like, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, they be, they, they, they ego be a little bit in the way. Yeah. I don't know why. I was like, like, oh, shit. Damn, I'll never yeah. call y'all that shit again. That's all I just. Shout out to my couch potatoes. Right. Before you. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I even call my music heads my couch potatoes. They be like, yo, what? They don't even know about my podcast. They be like, yo, yo what? My couch potato. Shit, yeah, the fuck? Motherfucker. I'm a couch potato. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm a big couch potato. <laughs> and you are officially a couch potato because you actually sat on the couch. I just sat my ass on the couch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, if you can do a big feature with somebody, who would it be with? Who is the big artist? Who is the number one artist? That you would feature with and make a hit with. Chris Brown. I knew you was gonna say that. It's the source, okay? Okay. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> and then you know, with I'm Chris Brown, <laughs> you know, the only the only song that Chris Brown ever did with somebody and it didn't become a hit was motherfucking T Grizzly. That's it. It says, link her thing. I don't see up here. Okay, it's, it says it right up here. If you see, it says, late on the couch with Chiney. And um, if you come back and you see the, the real, her information will be um, in the tags as well. She'll be tagged to the video as well. So um, make sure that you follow her, support her. I will be playing um, her some of your beats too, Mav. Because so, um, she's going to be doing the mic on the couch. So... I told her we got R and B beats, we got everything, we got everything. I said some hot shit. You okay. Know, I just got finished writing like three new songs today. I've been in the uh, don't vibe. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that because you really about to get in the vibe once you hear these beats. You about to really get in the vibe. Okay. I'm already doing this already. So Chris a vibe. Brown, what would it be? A sex song or would it be just a, a fun dance song? I'm gonna have to do both. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now, if somebody was just now meeting you, how would you describe yourself? Would you describe yourself? Um, would you come off as Britney or would you come off as Chinese? I don't know. It's so hard because they both kind of like mix and match with each other. You can even <laughs> start with Chinese first. Chitney. Yeah, like I usually do. Like people, people. Hey, I'm Chitney. Chinese. Chitney. Britney. <laughs> Chitney. <laughs> I'm Chitney. Oh, I'm gonna go to my job and say that. I'm Chitney. Fuck it. <laughs> um, yeah. but I was like, like, yeah, you have to be Britney. Okay. What's your best song that you've done? My best. Man, 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 man. It's so short. But there is a part that I don't like, and I would like it to be changed. And Spaceship? Hmm? Then that's not your best song. Yeah, that's not my best song. Yeah, if that song? was, if that was, a, if that was one of my other examples, is the the song was originally about like domestic violence. Mm. Like I posted a little clip on that like yesterday, but <clears throat> when I say we talk about real deep shit, I don't even do I don't even do deep shit. Mm-hmm. I don't have open ears. Right. Listen, right. I stop looking with the eyes and. <laughs> no, for real. I love Spaceship because it's really deep. Um, mm-hmm. And I really put my heart into it because mm-hmm. I really feel. I really feel for women that's in those situations. Like, right. I really hope that, you know. Would you say this to Andy Too Ray? Yeah. I'm really, I mean, I may not look like how they look or stand, mm-hmm. but like when I get fucking 
sixteen million dollars or some shit for okay. this shit. I mean, of course dollars. I'm gonna look that way. Like the <laughs> fuck, did y'all gonna look like this? It changed up, like. <laughs> <laughs> like no mistakes. Do you like you feel me? Like, do you gonna be like, oh, she made me shit? Oh, she made me shit. Oh, yeah, y'all trying to? Do you pay attention to the news? Mm-hmm. What's happening? Okay. Do you remember? Do you? Did you ever hear about um? Two boys drowning in the lake. Um, mm-hmm. One of those. You talking about the one that was? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't even know. I ended up finding it like on Instagram. It was mm-hmm. on this Oklahoma. It's like it's a famous on Oklahoma Instagram. I want to say I recorded it. And um, I, I happened to like watch it, and I was like, "Damn, that's crazy." Mm-hmm. And um, my mom called me and was like, "Yo." Like, kind of shocking to me. Oh. Like, you laugh? That's fucked up. Like, <laughs> just now, I was like, oh. No, it was kind of, it was kind of like a shock, because he was really sweet. He was cool. I mean, it he ain't no limits football. on the couch, but damn. No, I don't <laughs> never do that. He was, he went to, mm-hmm. like, he went to football. He had a lot of big dreams and aspirations, so I really, um, I want to say everything is just looking up his way. Right. Um, if you were to die today, how do you think you would be remembered? I think I'd be remembered as somebody that was loyal. Mm. They were like, now she was fucking loyal to the yeah. soil. I feel like I just pick people's spirits up. People always calling me when they're in a sticky situation or in a dark situation. Very, very, very sticky situations. Um, and I always give my best advice because I don't do it out of, you know, just talk. I just like to mm-hmm. let everything talk. And they're going to remember me as a bitch that was a real one. As a woman, not even as a bitch, as a woman. As a and woman. I was born. I was, I was, yeah, as a goddess, I was mm-hmm. a real one. Like, I treat people with respect. I don't mm-hmm. disrespect anybody. I don't make anybody feel uncomfortable. We don't, we can even sit around me and it won't be touched. Mm-hmm. Would you say that you're a good person. influence? Of course. I've had plenty of little girls look up to me. My daughter looks up to me. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest motivation. Because mm-hmm. I don't want her to be looking at people like, you know, like, and I know I do my own little sexual shit, mm-hmm. but like, you know, like, I keep my shit still classy. Like, you can't put me in the same category as my Right, shit. like, you're not in the club no. giving head and no. letting never them come all over your that. fucking locks and right. iron and your, uh, your wig and shit. Not gonna hop. Like, I need oh. some glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Fuck Like, what's your New Year's resolution? I've been holding back so much, and, and maybe that's why it's just like kind of spilling out of me. Like, mm-hmm. I've just been holding back so much. 2023 has been a new year, new year for me. Like, mm. I've been through so much shit that just has made sense to me. Like, mm. I, and I just wear that shit, and I make it look good, but people mm. don't. People don't even know. But I still come up and I still do my shit. What do you feel your career is going to be? Support. Mm-hmm. Real support. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like if the right person came across me and they saw my talent, like, they'd be like, oh, damn. Right. She got potential. Facts, facts. Get her in here. Mm-hmm. Shit. Um, what do you plan to do differently with your career this year coming up? I plan to do shit my way. Okay. Whose way was you doing it? Mm. Why you wanna 
If I'm being honest, <coughs> I feel like I was doing that for the meme of little quirk. Mm. Little quirk. Hmm? Isn't that um? Yeah. I feel like I was doing it, and it's not a bad thing. It's, let me clarify, like, cause I really, whatever I'm a part of, I go harder for it, a hundred percent. Cause. A hundred times out of ten, you see me there in your jeans, whether I'm performing or not. <laughs> like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like I'm there. I'm supporting. I'm liking. I'm sharing shit. Like, right. There's nothing that you that. It's it's. I'm on the support side. I'm not the front. And I'm down a hundred percent. But when you show me that that shit is not reciprocated, I'm not gonna keep wasting my time because I saw what I'm gotten before. Mm-hmm. I'm not fucked out of two hundred thousand dollar record deal. Mm. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Like bitches, yeah. bitches are jealous and bitches be doing weird shit because they feel ways and don't want to communicate, don't know how to communicate because mm. we never been taught how to. Like we just, I don't know. Like I'm to the point now where I don't give a fuck about having a friend. Mm-hmm. Like I never really had a real friend because bitches or niggas don't know how to be real friends. Just not meeting you in person, so. I like you. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. <laughs> we be vibing over here. We already you know vibe. We've been vibing. And um, if you ever know how to play any instruments or you see all these instruments in here, I you can know. whistle. Okay, I don't know how. <laughs> see, I don't know how. So, <laughs> growing up, it was forbidden for me to whistle. So Why? I, I don't know. I used to get a beating if I tried. What? Can. I used to get put on punishment. She used to be like, are you whistling? I used to be like, I'm trying. Fuck. Come on. Punishment. Give me your food. Okay, so. Go to your room. What's your ethnicity? Trinidadian. <gasps> you told me that. Yes. <laughs> they don't play no <laughs> Y'all's parents are strict. Okay. Now, how would you say your, um, it says, step and boom. Mine, mind. Okay. Mine, mind. Yeah. Um. How would you can? How would you say your stage presence is like compared to your recording? Like, what do you like doing better? Do you like being in the booth or do you like being on the stage? Okay. To be honest, I really love being in the booth. Mm. Mm, I love the stage too, though. But the stage, I still have. I still have anxiety. Like mm-hmm. being so vulnerable in front of people like they don't see it though but I feel I feel good I see it but in the booth like I feel like I'm more comfortable like I feel like I'm supposed to be at home right now mm. which more recently I haven't been feeling that way mm. so yeah. okay I got a few more questions and then we're gonna wrap it up all right all right now um the music that you have now um do you have any that's unreleased hmm? that you still haven't had mixed yet or maybe some that you want to re-record? Yeah. Or um, how do you go about purchasing your beats? Do you just steal them off YouTube or do you buy them? I've bought, like, at least three of my beats. Now, I got, like, nine singles. Most of the beats have not been released yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm still waiting to buy those because I've been spending money on therapy mm-hmm. you know music videos mm-hmm. um but i want to invest in better some more better uh beats or you know better songs mm-hmm. i want better do you feel like your um quality of that your music is right now is where you want it to be or you think it could be better yeah i feel like i want it to be better okay it could be much better okay now, um, who inspired Run It Up? Or what situation inspired Run It Up? Uh, I think it's a combination of situations. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like just the summary of it, Run It Up, is just people going to turn on you. 
he's popular he's gonna talk shit about you like not everybody gonna like you not everybody's cup of tea but you pick yourself back up and get the fuck up and go get to your bag focus on your shit chase your dreams you only get one life like people focus on stupid shit on a day to day basis and be chasing ridiculous shit and spending days on dumb shit Mm -hmm. Focus on things you feel in the life you want to live is possible. You're the only person talking to yourself. Facts. Facts. Now, who inspired Grant? My mama. (laughs) 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 No. (laughs) I'm going to say, I don't know, somebody. Because before I hadn't talked to this person yet. Oh, okay. 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 So you just was making like, music, just watching him from a distance. Hmm? So you was really the one in the dream. <laughs> no, he was the one in the dream. He was still telling me regardless. I was just like, no, it's the girl. Then he said that. <laughs> I know that's fine. Now, my last question is Would you say that you're a strong vocalist? I feel like there's work I need to do, like, I need to get better, because I have been, like, um, I don't know, like, when I was in LA, I had more structure with everything, so, like, you know, I had to really have a choice what I had to do shit, but, like, when I came back to Tony, and she pushed me in the house, and we practiced things, but I had to really recuperate, um, but I feel like there's a lot of work I need to do. It's not exactly how I want myself to sound, but... I don't feel like I sound bad for who I am. I feel like if it was the right mix for me and the right mastering with the right, right. I don't know, presentation, mm-hmm. I don't feel like I need extra shit because mm-hmm. I can actually sing. All right. All right. Now, is there anything that you would like to leave us with before you go? Any shout outs or anything? No. Shout out Uncle Chippy. Hey. Shout out the motherfucking pop. And I love y'all. It's time for like I still need you to watch me and and rock with me and keep doing what I need to miss her. And I really appreciate y'all because I don't know. Y'all really do this shit for me. Y'all do it for us. Mm-hmm. And we ain't gonna make this shit happen regardless. Facts. Facts. Don't forget, I prophesied this shit way before now. Right. So don't, she said don't she be was surprised. Didn't say you was when you did. I had the red dress. Years old. Okay. Now y'all listen. When you prophesize that young, you know what's about to happen. So I definitely appreciate y'all for being on the couch. I will be back tomorrow, and tomorrow I will be doing a turkey giveaway. All you have to do is like my page. Like go to go to the couch page on Facebook, and you'll see. Um, all the rules. You gotta share the post, um, like both pages, comment a couch and a potato, and join the live tomorrow. So, um, if you're in the Oklahoma City area and you're looking for a turkey, it is a huge turkey, and I'm gonna do a giveaway tomorrow. So, um, I hope to see you on the couch tomorrow. I love you guys. Shout out to all my couch potatoes. I hope to see you tomorrow. Love you. It's the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking limit. None at all. We get it together. Okay. (laughs) Come get a turkey. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Love you, big O's. I really enjoyed this. Me too. I had a really good time. I'm gonna do dishes.